We hook up with Bradley Wiggins last night. Yeah, on the stage. You, you two are good friends. I mean, friends. Yeah. I mean. Um, Bradley's special, but special in, 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 in positive, not special in he's strange or, or no, I mean strange. Everyone is strange. Come on. <laughs> I mean, uh, he's, um, I think the way Bradley is, he's now, that's the Bradley. And I think uh, a lot of people hasn't really known Bradley a lot. They know Bradley about all his past and um, I think it's the only one that could do these changes from track to, to road to time trial to winning a Tour de France. I mean, he even started kind of 2020 rowing, that, but Bradley is, was the only one doing it. And, and also the way he is, I mean, Bradley is, in my opinion, the only person I ever met in my whole entire life that knows so much about cycling history. Not just about uh, the Tour de France uh, three years ago or the classic six years ago. He knows so much what history is about cycling and from where it comes. I mean, when I was on stage and he talked about uh, from, from Eddie Merckx and, and from all those years where Eddie was, where it was black and white TV. So he knows, I mean, he's, he has it in his heart. He has a whole collection of not recently good looking bikes. He has a whole kind of, um, he has a museum of so many stuff from the past. And I think that's, that's really, really cool. He's funny. He's definitely funny. And, and he's open, straightforward. I mean, uh, I know he had some tough times um, during the last years uh, regarding uh, his past when it comes to the Tour de France with all the, all the chaos that came up, but I think Brad deserves more than just shooting in a corner and, and pointing on him because he done major things for cycling, he done major things for British cycling. He's one of the pieces that um, with, with Kath, with, with Chris Hoy, um, from that era that has launched British cycling to another level.